In this video, we're going to be looking at how to get your live API keys from the Binance platform. All right, so this is basically for live trading. It's not testnet, it's actually um, live trading. And um, all you need to do is to head over to the Binance website. As you can see, I'm going to drop this link in the description below for those of you who don't have it. If you don't have an account, you can create an account on Binance. And um, uh, crypto spot trading is actually restricted to some countries. Right, so you can actually check out the list of countries. If your country falls under one of those countries, you can just sign up to Binance and um, create an account. Right, you have to make sure that your account is also verified because if your account is not verified, you can't have access to create API keys. Right, so now once um, you've created an account, as you can see, logged into your dashboard here, just head over to the API management section. And you can see i've already created a basic api key here this is what i use for the crypto spot trading right so to create an api key just head over to this section here and click on create api now once you do that you have to label your api key so you can just type anything basically um, type a new api right and then i click on next all right so i'm gonna All right, so we have our new API key created here and our API secret key as well. So you can see both keys, the API key and the API secret. All right, so you can copy this to uh, probably a notepad or something that you're sure of over time. All right, so you can actually copy this here. And then for the API restrictions, you can see that we have um, some checkboxes here. All right, so you can enable all of these checkboxes apart from the enable withdrawals because you're basically no withdrawing you're just trading so there's no need to enable withdrawals or the symbol whitelist as well right but the rest of them can be enabled right and also for ip access restrictions you can leave this to the unrestricted right but if you want to be more secure you can actually have it to be restricted as well but when you're restricting it to some ips it may not work when you're testing it on your android phone or on your vps Right, so it's best to leave this as unrestricted if you're going to be using crypto bots. Right, guys. Um, so if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at support at and I'm more than happy to assist you. We're going to be using these API keys for several tutorials, including the crypto bots deployment. Right, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.